purpose of journaling should go beyond being aesthetic or just showing your creative side, I believe that journaling should have a purposeful, eternal vision. Um, As someone who has faith in God, who understands the love and the sacrifice and the life that Jesus lived, as someone who wants to share that with the world, I think that journaling should not be limited to just posting a video like this or posting pictures about what my notebook looks like or some goals that I have, but it should have that privacy and that public side that also points to someone who gives us purpose. And so in my journaling, I've always been someone who loves organizing things and loves writing and doing a little calligraphy. I did a little bit of that when I was younger and I'm trying to go back to it. And I love doing artsy stuff, but recently the reason why that I decided to share this video is because I think that sometimes, especially as Christians, we can get so caught up in wanting to look like we're doing good and look like we're filling our Bibles and filling our notebooks and all that, and we miss out on actually hearing what God wants us to say, actually listening to Him, living it out, and then sharing it with others. And so that is the purpose for this journaling video. I want to just share some ways that I start the year off, especially for 2022, because this year is a big one for me. It's filled with a lot of things that could or could not happen in a bigger scope. God is so good that I've experienced and have been through a lot of things in my life, especially during the pandemic. I've been blessed that journaling like this and having these moments in my life have led to books being published and other platforms being created, but this year is a little different. And... um. This journaling setup, this quiet time is really important to me. It's really important in how I would refocus, how I would become more intentional. Obviously, it has no gadgets or little gadgets involved when it comes to writing. I use physical Bible books and notebooks and pens and all that. So um, this isn't about showing off the best ways to write or the best notebooks to buy and all that, because if you want videos like that, there are many to find on YouTube that are pretty good at what they do. This is just somehow a way of sharing a purposeful way of starting off your year and sharing a glimpse of what I do, because I think that maybe someone out there might want to hear about it and be encouraged to take a step of faith in something like this. So throughout this video, I hope and pray that you'll be encouraged and reminded to reflect on why you do things, why you post things, why you decide to pursue things, because sometimes it's easy to start things and it's so much harder to finish them. For my 2022 devotional journal, I decided to use a 365-day journal and theme every month with a different kind of style. So for January, I already started writing down my devotionals from a Bible plan I follow, and I'll link it down below, and the YouVersion Bible app. So I haven't fully designed all the months yet, but I'm getting there, and I'm really excited to see the finished product. And at the very end of the journal, I have my word for this year, as well as different goals that I hope to see come to pass. But above all, I want to grow in faith and leave all of them in God's hands. So this colorful part of the journal is just to express a little more creativity and hopefully to see some prayers or answered prayers um, filling up those sticky notes. So that's my devotional journal. This birthday journal was made before I turned 21, so that was before August of 2021, and it will be good for August 2022, like within that year, my 21st year of living. So I themed every uh, month or quote-unquote chapter with different characters and themes to help me 
either get excited or have fun about answering different questions to color in different characters to think about ways to improve myself in in some aspects goals for the year or for the month and um, ways to give ways to be kind mood trackers and all of that so i included it in a notebook and i hope that when i look back on it or i know that when i look back on it soon i will just be amazed at what god has done so I won't show you how to do it, but this is how I did it. I've loved having a habit journal or having the habit part a part of a big journal. But since I didn't want to spend so much this year, I decided to use a cheaper notebook that I have and just make it myself. So for the month of January, I already planned out my sleep, workout, reading, and Duolingo and gratitude parts of this habit journal and I planned out some of the months but the rest I haven't done yet and I just wanted to show that it's very possible to do without spending too much so this is just index cards some extra paper and whatever markers or pens that you have at home letter journals or letter notebooks are some things that I've been doing for quite a few years already and the purpose of this is to write down like a future letter or a diary login in a way but I don't log in every single day like I log in whenever I feel like it or something happens and I just want to note it down or pray about it or just share it to myself so that when I look back on it and read back on it I can see how I've grown or what God has done or how things turned out or how much I've had to work on myself <laughs> throughout that time from that time until the present so this has been very helpful and I encourage you to do this because it's nothing too extravagant or extreme, but it's very personal to you and to God. And it's amazing how much can change in a year and how God can move in even the smallest ways.